Hey there, my name is Greg Lamb, the Small Biz Doer. This is Lesson 4 of Accounting 101, the 5 Main Types of Accounts. Whether you realized it or not, you already know the 5 main types of accounts found in accounting. Asset, Liability, Equity, Revenue, and Expense. It's all right here. If we look at the balance sheet and profit and loss reports, we can view a sample of the accounts found within the 5 main types of accounts. And just a quick note, these accounts are used as an example, and most businesses will use a different set of accounts. But we need some accounts to play with, so here they are. So in the assets, we have accounts receivable, and that's the money that is owed to the company. We have a bank account, inventory, PayPal, and undeposited funds. All these accounts represent things that a company owns that has monetary value. For example, the accounts receivable are kind of like IOUs that were given to a business by its customers. Likewise, a desk in an office is also worth money if sold, just like money in the bank is obviously worth money. For liability accounts, we have accounts payable, which is money a business owes to other companies for things they've purchased but not paid for yet. Bank loan, we have car loan, credit card, and money that's due to shareholders, which is money that the company has borrowed from its shareholders. All these accounts represent money that the company owes. For example, accounts payable are vendor bills that need to be paid, and the credit card balance represents money owed to the bank that issued it. Next we have equity. Equity includes accounts like net income, which by the way is technically called retained earnings in this setting, but we'll get into that later. Dividends, and owner's equity, or in other words, an owner's investment into the company. Equity is the money that has been invested into the company, money that the company has made, or money that the company has paid out to its owners for investing into the company. Another way to think about equity is to think of it as what's left over after you take your assets and pay off all your liabilities. So assets minus liabilities equals equity. If we take the example of the cafe that Aco purchased, this can give us some insight into how equity is calculated. The cafe was purchased for $100,000 composed of a 20% down payment or $20,000 and an $80,000 mortgage. The down payment represents the equity. Next up, revenue. Revenue in this example includes accounts like cafe sales, which are items sold in the cafe, catering sales, which are for catering events outside of the cafe, and interest income. You know what interest income is, right? The 0.000001% interest that the bank gives you for the privilege of being able to loan out your money. Anyways, revenue is money that goes into the business as a result of goods or services sold. You see, money can go into the business through a variety of methods, from an owner investing money to a loan taken out with a bank. Revenue accounts are only used for money that goes into the business through the sale of goods or services that are sold. Revenue can also be money received from the sale of an asset that has appreciated in value. For example, if that coffee shop was originally bought for $100,000 and sold for $110,000, that would be revenue of $10,000. And lastly, and I'd like to say leastly as well, expense. Expense includes accounts like advertising, bank feeds, cost of goods sold, and office supplies. Expenses are money that goes out of a business to pay for operations. Like revenue, not all money going out of a business is an expense. If money goes out of the business to pay back a loan, purchase an asset, or as dividends to owners, these are not expenses. And like with revenue, if an asset loses value, this can be expensed as well. So again, if the cafe was originally purchased for $100,000 and is later sold for $90,000, there's a loss of $10,000. Here's a recap of the keywords and concepts we just learned. When you are recording entries, they are always going to fall into one of the five main types of accounts. Asset, liability, equity, revenue, or expense. It's not always straightforward which account to use, even for seasoned business owners. Something that a business considers an expense, like a $1,000 computer, may be considered a $1,000 asset by an accountant or the tax man. So don't be discouraged if you don't quite know which account to use when recording an entry. If you don't know, ask a professional to help you out, someone who knows the local laws and regulations for your type of business. In the next lesson, we'll go over giving credit to customers and getting credit from vendors, which is a good introduction to accrual accounting. If you go to smallbusinessdoer.com, 
you can download this accounting equation cheat sheet as well as do some exercises and quizzes. All right, I'm out of here. Catch you on the flip side.